Hi, this is Eric Slack, Senior Analyst with Storage Switzerland. We're at Atlantis in Mountain View, California, talking about USX, Atlantis' software-defined storage solution that provides all flash performance and features at half the cost of a SAN. Joining me today is Seth, VP of Products from Atlantis. Seth, how are you doing? Great. Great to be here. Um, data mobility, you got it written on the board here. Um, you know, this is one kind of characteristic that's, that's really central to a lot of IT functions. Um, you know, smart data movement is really key to things like data protection, uh, disaster recovery, um, cloning, um, backup, for example. I know that USX has a, has a feature uh, that really applies your core technology to this question of data movement. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. The Atlantis, one of Atlantis Hyperdupe's uh, data services is called Teleport. Uh -huh. And what the technology does is it actually allows you to move uh, VMs and data very quickly between networks, between storage volumes, between storage systems. So you can do things like very fast storage migration, mm -hmm. equivalent to like a storage vMotion, uh, faster and more efficient VM backup, as well as file and VM replication for things like DR, like you mentioned. So what we do is essentially uh, take the differential blocks that are uh, different between storage volumes uh -huh. and only replicate the post-optimized blocks after we've done deduplication, after we've done compression. So what you're left with is only having to have 5 to 10 percent of the data traverse the network to the other storage array, and we recreate the rest from our metadata on the other side. So you're really applying a, a, a sort of a foundational characteristic of, of Atlantis technology to movement of data, is that right? Yes, exactly. Deduplication is one of the core uh, functionalities that applies across all of our data services, mm -hmm. hence the name Hyperdupe. And I can give you a little example of, yeah, of how do. that works. So here we have uh, one data center. Um, think about this as maybe a North American data center. On the other side, mm -hmm. you have a uh, data center in Europe, for example. Now, what we have over here is we have three VMs. You know, these could be SQL VMs, they could be virtual desktops, right. whatever, whatever you, you may choose. They all have Atlantis USX here. Now, that is providing the storage volume for those VMs and where it's stored. Now, there's another Atlantis USX storage volume on the other side of the pipe. And essentially, what we do here is, let's say, you know, a bunch of the blocks on this VM are duplicate. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll highlight those in red. Sure. And you only have maybe 5% in green over here. So essentially what Teleport does is it takes all of those um, green blocks, transfers them over the WAN connection as you would with a normal storage vMotion. But what's different is on the other side, you have a VM here, and it can recreate all of the other red blocks from what already exists on the storage on the other side. So by leveraging that deduplication and compression, you have to traverse the WAN with only a very small amount. That means you can storage vMotion faster, you can replicate faster, you can back up faster, as well as cutting the amount of networking you need. So the green blocks represent the unique data, and that's actually what walks the wire, and the red exactly. blocks are recreated so using So when you metadata. actually push the button to do the mm -hmm. migration or do the backup or when the replication is scheduled to happen, the green blocks come across the wire here and then fill out the rest of the VM or file that's necessary to replicate. This makes everything much more efficient. It opens up a lot of other possibilities in terms of what you can do in a data center. Now, is this a, a, a feature or is this a capability that's baked into a USX product? So it's a capability that's baked into the USX platform. So mm -hmm. it comes with the platform. There's no additional cost for it. But it can be leveraged for, as we said, you know, storage migration, backup, file replication, DR. Mm -hmm. And some of the benefits you might get with that are you know, 90% less WAN traffic in a DR scenario. Um, your storage migration will be faster by the same ratio of the deduplication and compression, which hmm. is usually around 90%. Same thing with uh, backups and VMs. And then, um, now the other part that's interesting is if you have something like DR, because you're doing deduplication and compression before it goes over the wire, you can actually both use commodity storage on the other side instead of symmetrical, very expensive tier one SAN, mm -hmm. and you'll need about 90% less of it total. So there's a, there's a capacity advantage as well then, is yeah, that right? Yeah, so it's, it's both capacity and accelerating 
the speed of movement of data between hmm. different data centers, between different storage arrays within the same data center, and it opens up all sorts of new possibilities and use cases. Can you give us kind of a real world example, some use cases, uh, maybe from uh, your own your own uh, customer base? Sure. So I'll give you two that you know customers come up will come up with very interesting ways uh -huh. to use this. I mean, there are things that we haven't thought of yet, mm -hmm. but two that have been brought up by customers so far are one is if you have uh, peak times mm -hmm. where um, you're using your whole data center, you need to buy hardware for that and consume power for that. But right. when you're in an off-peak time, let's say at night, um, you could move all of the VMs to one part of the data center and shut down whole racks for power savings. Huh. That's, that's one uh, People you know, are really case. doing that. Yeah, people can do that. Um, and especially when you get into cloud type scenarios, service providers can you know, increase their profit margins and, and get a lot more efficient by doing that. Huh. What's the other application? So the other one that we've seen, you know, we have a lot of customers who use us for desktop virtualization. For VDI, for yeah. For VDI. Mm -hmm. So imagine a kind of global VDI deployment where you have, you know, North America, Europe, Asia deployments. Mm -hmm. You have executives and other people moving between the physical locations. Today, what most people do is they will dial back in or access a session that's running in London if they're traveling to New York. Sure. Right, but you know that introduces latency. It, it's extra WAN traffic cost. So what you could do with this is that you could actually dynamically move around both the user's VM and their data to a storage array that's in the data center near where they actually are at that moment to minimize that traffic. So you've got your data and your application following you as you travel. Exactly, right? so kind of like follow me desktop, follow <laughs> me data. Wow, that's really interesting stuff. Well, great. Thanks for explaining. This is a really interesting technology. Okay, thank you. Uh, what we saw is a, a really interesting example of, of, of using some, uh, some technology that a product has, and in this case, USX's uh, ability to, um, to optimize data and to use deduplication uh, in, in another way besides just storage. And what, what they're leveraging this for is to improve a, a fundamental function of, of, of a lot of IT services, which is, is the movement of data from one place to another uh, to, uh, to facilitate storage migration, backup, DR, and those kinds of things. Uh, this is Eric Slack, Senior Analyst with Stored Switzerland. Thanks for joining us.